y'all. I'm here today with another wax haul. This is my latest order from Tiny Tarts. Rebecca Cunahan is the owner of Tiny Tarts and she's been open for um, a couple of months now, maybe four or five months I think. And she's easily become one of my top five vendors, um, even just with my first order. I'm just always blown away by her stuff and her packaging. And she's totally sweet, and I think she has a really good eye for scents. Um, her stuff's really strong. I mean, just all around great wax. So I knew, um, I do admin for her group, so I automatically knew, of course I'm going to order. I love her stuff, but I really knew I wanted to order this time because um, she had a couple of bags I wanted, but also her scent shots just sounded absolutely amazing. So... I picked up several of the scent shots and only only three of the bags. Now I kind of wish I picked up a few more, but I was on a limited budget, so I tried to keep it small. Um, a couple of her, well, all of her admins, me, um, Danny, and then there's another one I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but um, we were all being allowed to test some new blends that Rebecca has been coming up with. She has been testing blends to see if they're stronger than what she currently has because if they are stronger, she wants to switch to a new formula. So she created some um, some scents here. I think four of them are in a texture that's similar to what her current formulation is and then five of them are harder wax, so it's a different consistency. So we're supposed to test them out, let them let her know how it goes from cold throw to warm throw, uh, the longevity of them, give her some quality feedback so she knows if she should change her consistency or not. I already have amazing performance with the wax the way that it is, but that just goes to show you who she is as an, o who she is as an owner and how much she cares about her company and her customers where she's constantly trying to improve. So I wanted to go ahead and show you the scents that I already have for this testing phase before I show you what I ordered. Um, so I didn't pay for these scent shots I'm about to show you. These are just for testing purposes only. So the first four that I'm going to show you here are similar, they're a similar texture to her current formulation. Um, so the first one I got here, this is zucchini bread. Um, these aren't, these don't have labels or anything. They're just marked and then I have a sheet of paper here telling me what I have. So this first one is zucchini bread. And her zucchini bread is fabulous. If you don't like zucchini bread that has that Doritos type of smell, don't be afraid of this zucchini bread because it doesn't have that. You actually get that that bread note, but it's really, there's a sweetness to it too. This, I mean, it's just the best zucchini bread. I would say this is reminiscent of VCS's zucchini bread. She has fabulous zucchini bread blends that don't smell like Doritos. Um, if you've if you, you know, melt zucchini bread and you have tried it from different companies, you know what I'm talking about. So that is an amazing zucchini bread. The second scent shot is this one here. This is coconut lime verbena. This is the first coconut lime verbena scent I've ever smelled and I was blown away because it just didn't smell how I thought it would. It smells better. It's fruity, but it's also kind of spa and fresh. Maybe not so much fresh, but definitely kind of a spa scent to it. It's not overwhelmingly lime, but you do get a kiss of lime towards the end. And the coconut, I mean, I can't specifically pick out each of those scents. It just blends so nicely together. It's just a really great spa fruity scent. Next up is Perfect Peach. This is the first peach scent I believe I've had. Maybe my second. But this, it's called Perfect Peach, and it is. It smells amazing. I know I've heard some people say that they think that peach smells like cat urine, or I've heard some weird ones, but this smells exactly like peaches. This is so good. My mom is from Georgia, and she loves to call herself a Georgia peach, so I'm going to have to order her a bag in this blend, or if she has, if she comes up with some peach blends, I'm definitely going to have to order some and then send them to my mom. But that is just absolutely amazing. If you like peach scents or if you've been curious about them, definitely give that one a shot. And then the fourth and last scent shot that I have that are similar to her current texture, this one is Best Friends. I'm not sure what Best Friends is, but it to me smells like a, um, 
it's definitely fruity, but maybe a pomegranate in there? There's something toning it down so it's not overwhelmingly fruity. I wish I knew what it was. It's almost like maybe like a light cherry pomegranate scent, and I'm sure I'm way off, but either way, it's really nice. So those are the first four. And then these last five scent shots are the new formulation that she's testing. So I believe these are supposed to be, yeah, these are harder. So this first one here is dark vanilla. And this is the first I've ever smelled dark vanilla as well. It smells different than I expected it to. There's a scent in there that it, it's almost like a vanilla bean. I don't, I wonder what's giving it that, like the dark versus just vanilla. This is definitely a scent you would need to blend. It's not bad by any means, but it's just kind of new to me um, since I've never had a straight vanilla scent. But this is one you'd want to add into a bakery scent, probably. Next is Sex on the Beach. And these shapes are different. These are like these little, let me turn it around, little smiley faces. Let me see what this is. Look at this. Oh, so they're emoji. Hold on. Okay, these are emojis. Aww. That's so cute. This one, I don't know if you can tell, but this one's got the winky face with the tongue. Sorry about that, guys. This one's got the winky face with the tongue. Come on. Autofocus. There it is. There's a little bit of wax covering up the eye. Whatever. There you go. <laughs> Let me fix my tripod real quick. I have a different setup. My husband's downstairs studying, so I'm, I try to jerry-rig something up in my makeup room for you guys. But this one, Sex on the Beach. There's an orange scent in it, but it's really nice and it's not strong. I get kind of like a tropical fruity drink scent. But I definitely, I think what I smell the most is orange. But um, And for someone who doesn't really care for orange too much, that is amazing. I really like that. This next one is Eucalyptus Spearmint, and you can't go wrong with this, I mean, really. And that's exactly what it smells like. The Eucalyptus is pretty strong, and the Spearmint kind of comes in after. I mean, it, that's exactly what it is. And all of these are really, really strong on cold sniff. You know, I, I've ordered from vendors before that I've had trouble smelling their wax. You don't have that issue with this vendor at all. I mean, seriously, guys, if you, if you have not tried Tiny Tarts, please do. You're missing out. Next up, this is Fruity Pebbles. And I like that she included Fruity Pebbles versus Fruit Loops because Fruit Loops is very popular. And this, it's a little bit different. I get more of a, almost like more of a marshmallow note from it and more of that cereal note from it than I do with Fruity Pebble or for, with Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops, I tend to get more of a lemon scent. It's really good, it's really strong. That'll be fun to play with. I don't think I've had a straight um, fruity pebble scent. And then this last tester I have is Strawberry Spearmint. I thought this was so unique. And it smells fabulous. I never would have thought strawberry and spearmint would be so great together. And I really love her strawberry. It doesn't, I mean, it, this might be fresh picked strawberry, but maybe it just smells so great with the spearmint because I'm not a fan of fresh picked strawberry. I'll have to ask Rebecca um, and find out what kind she has, but I believe it's fresh picked strawberry. But that spearmint is amazing with strawberry. That's not a blend I would have ever thought to do together, but um, after I melt this, I might have to start mixing that myself. That is really good. So those were my nine testers. I cannot wait to start melting these and give her some feedback. I thought this was just so sweet that she included this. So thank you very much, Rebecca. And I'm very excited to melt them. So to get on with my order, open up my invoice here. I purchased three of these packs. These um, are like her cube packs. I can't think of what they're called off the top of my head, but they do have a name. But I just love these. They're four ounces, and I just, I think they're so cute in the bag. I like that you can pull out however many cubes you want. You can mix and match or keep one cent, but just, you know, use an exact amount. You don't have to cut. So these are $4.50 a bag. Like I said, these are four ounces. And the first one I have here is Fall Zucchini. I'm trying to focus. There we go. Fall Zucchini. And I don't have an exact scent description. 
I'm trying to think of what I smell in there. I definitely get the zucchini at the end, but what is that fall scent? Maybe some sort of apple. Um, it's hard to say. I don't smell pumpkin per se, but some sort of apple. Either way, it's, it's fall-like, and I love the zucchini bread in it. The zucchini bread is very strong in that one. Next, I have Cider Donut Birthday. And that just sounded amazing. And I enjoy the color as well. And this one's really good. The cider is probably the strongest, but you still get that donut, and then you get the birthday too. Like, you can smell the donut separate from the birthday. And she has a great cider scent. It's almost like a... Like a pomegranate type of cider. It's not like an apple cider. I don't smell apple in this, but this is just really comforting. This would blend really nicely with that full zucchini. I think that's what I might do at first when I first melt it. But that is just really great. And then I picked up Tropical Punch. I wasn't going to get this based on the scent description alone, but when I saw that she called it Tropical Punch, I was like, well, I do like punch scents. And I like tropical scents, so that's what made me pick it up, and I'm really glad I did. This is super fruity heaven. It really is. I get some orange in there, maybe a little bit of lime. And then if you've ever smelled like an actual fruit punch, like the drink, you get that base note. It smells like a fruit punch, but with some tropical citrus on top. It's fabulous. Honestly, every I love everything in this order. I really do just blown away. I wish I had ordered more. And I wish I had ordered two of these tropical punches and two of the fall zucchinis because I can blend that with several different things. Um, so, and unfortunately it's too late, but I learned my lesson for next restock. I will definitely be ordering extra. So the scent shots that I got, I have, let's see, two, four, six, eight. I have nine scent shots. And I didn't take this off, these, um, how she wraps them, because um, as you can kind of see, with her tiny tart chunks sticking out, these lids don't snap on perfectly shut. So I really enjoy that she includes this tape, and they're really fun. You'll see the different colors and stuff that I have, but um, I just like that she does that. I know people have had complaints or issues with scent shots because the lids come off in transit and stuff, and so with this solution, I mean, that's never going to be an, um, an issue. You're not going to have your lids come off in transit. So I open them, I open it, um, you can see here at the bottom, this tape comes off pretty easy. I just, I'm doing it through a viewfinder, but uh, I just pull up one side and then open it and sniff. So that's what this one looks like. Um, for to tell you, this is Rosemary Mint Eucalyptus Spearmint. I picked this up because this is just a scent that you can have all year round. It's great to have in case you get sick or you don't feel well. And this one's really great. That rosemary mint is very strong. And then I think I pick up the eucalyptus and then just a kiss of the spearmint at the end. Yeah, mostly rosemary mint and eucalyptus though. But that is going to be fabulous. I keep saying fabulous today. I don't know why. Okay, next is vanilla sugar cookie dough, triple berry. I don't know why my camera is being a pain in the butt today. Autofocus. Is that focusing? There we go. I think it's because I have all this in the back. Let me move this out of the way as I go. I don't typically have stuff in the background when I do videos. So let me move this over. Okay. So and you can see the fun tape she has on this one. It's like a geometric pattern. So that's what this one looks like. This one's great. Honestly, even past the vanilla sugar cookie dough, you still pick up that triple berry, even though it's kind of buried in there. And she has a great sugar cookie scent. I thought I didn't like sugar cookie, but I guess I really do. It's really nice, like bakery heaven. And I love that that berry really comes through, because I was afraid it might get lost with all the bakeriness, but it really doesn't. Next is Rainbow Sherbet Lemon Drops. And look at that tape. So cute. This is one I wasn't sure I was going to pick up because I don't really tend to like Rainbow Sherbert, but I'm so glad I did, again, because this is just amazing. I love her wax. And that, that's like a beautiful green color. Can we just appreciate that color? 
absolutely beautiful. Mm. You get a little bit of that lemon, but that rainbow sherbet is amazing. It's really fruity and um, just kind of in your face, but without being obnoxious. I think I smell some orange in there, but it smells great. Like, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm starting to like orange again, but this, lately the orange stuff I smell is just amazing. This smells good enough to where I actually want to eat it. That's pretty bad. Or good, I'm not sure. Okay, next is caramelized pear and leaves. It's a beautiful pattern. And this is another one I wasn't sure about, but I said, well, I might as well. There we go. You know, when you're gonna place an order, and her scent, I'm sorry, I don't know if I said, but her scent shots are $1.85 a piece. Now knowing what I know, like which ones I really love, I wish I had ordered du duplicates. So, I mean, I'm really going to kick myself here shortly, but hopefully she'll bring back some of these amazing blends and I'll be able to order more. This one is great. This is very fall. The pear smells amazing and the leaves, that leaves scent is so great. Let me see if I can pop this out for you guys so you can see. I love how she decided to start putting these... Um, her cubes inside of wax like this for scent shots because um, I think the last restock she had them like similar to this and it was warm out and she didn't want them to melt and so she decided to do this and this is just fabulous again fabulous it's amazing let me change my word but seriously that smells like fall heaven I know the other day um, I know I said this in a wax group but I was smelling all my fall scents and Honestly, some of them made me want to puke. I know how gross that is, but I was just not enjoying any of them, and I, I thought about de-stashing about 80% of what I had. So, considering that was only about three days ago, and then to today where I'm smelling some of these fall scents, and I'm just like, what? These are amazing. Night and day difference. I don't know if maybe, maybe my nose changed, or her wax is just that fabulous, and her like the fragrance oils she uses are just that great. I'm thinking it might be the latter. This next one is Pumpkin Crunch Salted Caramel, another absolutely amazing fall scent. And again, this tape, uh, let's see, this was used on this one. But I just, I think these are so fun. I like that she has different tapes and she uses them for different scent shots. It just, I don't know, it just makes it more fun. Okay, so Pumpkin Crunch Salted Caramel. That's what this scent shot looks like. That pumpkin isn't too strong. I'd say you probably get the salted caramel the most, which is probably the overpour. But you do get the pumpkin. This one I'm having more trouble smelling because I just get a lot of salted caramel. I wish I could smell more of the pumpkin right now. I think I could smell more on the bottom, but it's really, really fall, really bakery. Yeah, definitely salted caramel is what I get the most. I'm excited to melt that and have that pumpkin come out some more. I think I'm going to melt this one soon because lately I've just been in that mood of melting fall scent, so I need to run with it. This next one is Lavender Milk Ocean Mint. I don't know. I order a lot of lavender, and I really don't know why because it's not really my favorite. But when I saw this was blended with Ocean Mint, I knew I had to get it. I love ocean scents, um, sea scents, water scents, things like that. This camera is going to be the death of me. I think, you know what it is? It's this background. That's what it is. Anywho. So, Lavender Milk Ocean Mint. Those colors are gorgeous together. I love that greenish kind of aqua color. And this one, at the very end, I, I pick up that Ocean Mint. Um, but the Lavender Milk, it's almost, I think it's like an herbal lavender. And it's just kind of a creamy herbal, herbal lavender with that lavender milk. But I definitely get more of a an herbal versus a sweet. And that ocean and at the end, just it just changes it. It makes it so unique. That is really good. They're all really good, guys. Okay, next up we have Watermelon Punch Fret Cut Fresh Cut Grass. <laughs> Watermelon Punch Fresh Cut Grass. This was the scent my husband disliked. Out of all of them, he liked them all except this one, and that's a personal preference. He doesn't like um, grass scents. But uh, I think it's fabulous. 
So I'm going to be melting this one day when he's not home. Ugh, that grass is what you get. It's just in your face, grass. And then I can't personally pick up. Okay, I smell more of the watermelon underneath, but it's still mostly grass and then the sweetness of the watermelon at the end. That, I mean, grass is a very strong fragrance, so that doesn't surprise me at all. But this is going to be a really fun scent to melt. Okay, I have two more left. This next one, oops. This next one is a perfect example of why she tapes these lids down. You can see that the chunks go up quite high. So, this is pain in my butt, y'all. This blend is Bubblegum Blue Raspberry Jolly Rancher. This was kind of a wild card for me. It's not a scent I would typically choose, but it kind of sounded good, so. Okay. She has a great bubblegum scent for sure. I think that's what I smell instantly. Um, and then I do get some of that blue raspberry. Actually, now on the second sniff I got more blue raspberry and then the bubblegum at the end. But they're both really great together and honestly they're not overly sweet. I think it's because the bubblegum is the overpour, it doesn't make it too sweet. I think if the raspberry was the overpour, then it would be too much. But she has an amazing bubblegum scent. That's really fun. Um, I've been thinking lately I was going to get my daughter a wax warmer. So I think I'm going to. And this would probably be the first scent I melt in her room. Because, I mean, it's just such a kid type of scent. Bubblegum and, you know, Jolly Ranchers. And then this last scent shot I have here is Strawberry Cheesecake Ice Capades. I think this might be the one I was the most blown away by. Because it was just so unique. It's not like it's, you know, that unique of an idea, but I don't usually see strawberry um, mint blends too much unless it's with, um, I'm having a brain fart, with its um, shaving cream. So when I saw, I mean, I wish I'd gotten like five of these guys. This is just amazing. But when I saw the scent blend, I knew I had to try it. And it's amazing. That mint is not like a peppermint. It's like a butter mint. And the strawberry just adds that sweet fruitiness to it. This one's hard to describe, but it's so delicious. This is probably my favorite from the entire order just because it's unique to me. I think this is a really unique blend. Mm. That has to come back around because I need a bunch more. So this was my latest Tiny Tarts order. I'm very excited for her to open up again. I think she's going to be changing to a ready to ship. I know she mentioned briefly the idea of um, doing mini loaves, um, like mini pies, having a mini pie opening because that was a huge hit. And she had gotten sick, so she wasn't able to make too many. And I know a lot of people were bummed they didn't get the um, some of the ones they were hoping they would pick up. So I know she said that. She was thinking of that. I don't think she's decided for sure, but oh, I'm sorry that this was not a very good video, guys. And got a this Jimmy rigged table and my camera, and I'm tired, so <laughs> uh, whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said before, if you haven't tried Tiny Tarts, please give her a try. Her stuff is amazing. It's fabulous. I'll say it again. It's because it is. She is definitely, she was definitely one of my top five, but now I'd say she's probably in my top three. Um, I can't wait to see how these scents perform, but what I have already performs so well, so I know these are going to be just great. She has great blending skills, um, really great ideas about what goes great together. I think her colors are fun. She's sweet. I mean, just all around a great vendor. I haven't had any issues, and I don't foresee having any issues in the future. So, you know, like I said, if you're looking for a new vendor to try, please give her a try. If you have tried her and you love her stuff, like this video, comment below. Let me know what your favorite scent is, because um, I might need to try it. So, thank you guys for watching, and um, I'll probably be back sometime next week with another video.